Hey, Charlie, this is Dan. Um, I wanted to show you how to do this. Um, I'm sure we could definitely Skype sometime, but I figured it'd probably just be easier to uh, make a video like this for you just so you could kind of follow along with it. And then I figured maybe that way, if other people wanted to try and use it, they could do that too. Um, so first of all, you're going to need a laptop and you're going to need Audacity and SoundCloud. Um, and I can talk you through all of that. So first of all, you're going to have Audacity on your computer. Once you get it downloaded, you'll have a link to it, an icon. So you just click on that. And when Audacity first opens, it'll look something like this. If it doesn't pop up with this gray screen, you can just go to File and New, and it'll pop up with this gray screen for you. And when you first get in there, it's got all of this, which looks a little confusing at first, but really you're only going to be using just a couple of features of this program. So um, when I'm recording a, a practice track for my choirs, um, all that I do is I just click on this uh, red record button and I say uh, the name of the song and who the practice track is for. So I would click record and I'd say this is a practice track for the altos for Exultate Deo. So I'll do that right now. And hopefully I don't screw up. That takes up most of my time actually is me screwing up these tracks and then having to go back and re-record them. So here goes. So I'll go ahead and hit record. This is a practice track for the altos for Exultate Deo. And I'll count you off. One and two and... So then from there, I would just record the entire song, okay? And then I always, you know, once I have it recorded, I double check to make sure it all worked. This is a practice track for the altos for Exultate Deo. And I'll count you off. One and two and. So it looks like it all worked. And once I have this full song ready to go, um, there's a couple things that I can do. First of all, sometimes I say really stupid things at the beginning and I don't like it, so I chop that out like you heard my tongue click at the beginning. This is just me being really particular about it. So then I would start it from there. This is a practice track. So it doesn't have some of the excess stuff on there. That's just me being weird. So once you have the whole thing recorded, um, I like to just give it a listen once or twice and just make sure that I didn't make any mistakes and didn't count something wrong because they're going to spend time with it and hopefully not learn it the wrong way. Um, so I go to Effect and Normalize. Now this is totally optional. You don't have to do this. As long as it's coming through pretty clear on there, you actually don't have to do this. But I just do what it already has set. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And what that does is it just kind of amplifies all the sounds so when they practice with it, they are ready to go. This is a practice track for the altos for Exultate Deo. So you can hear that it made it just a little bit louder. And uh, so it just makes it easier for them, especially if they um, are having trouble hearing the track. Once you're done with that, all that you do is you go to File, Export Audio. And what it's going to do is it's going to export what you did here in Audacity as a WAV file. So it's a practice track. And you can see I've already created some folders where I keep all my practice tracks. So here's my Chamber Singers practice tracks. And these are all the ones I've been doing since the beginning of the year. Um, and all that I do is I just label them. So that was Exultate Deo. And I'm just going to put Alto Extra on this one or Alto Alternate. Just so, um, because I've already recorded that one, it doesn't replace the file that I already did because I would undo some of the work that I did on there. Um, so I'm going to put Exultate Deo Alt Alto Alternate and go ahead and click Save, and it's just going to save it right there. You can save it anywhere on your computer. I like to keep them all in a folder so I know where they all are. You click Save. I just leave this part blank. I click OK. And then it goes ahead and saves it onto my computer. So once that's done, that's really when it gets easy. Just the playing of the parts is the longest part of this process. Once that's done, you go over to Internet, you know, whatever 
browser you use and you go up to SoundCloud. So when you first log into SoundCloud, let me try and show you the home page. There we go. So if you don't have a SoundCloud account right now, it'll ask you to make one and they give you, I think, 90 minutes for free. And you can sign up with Facebook, you can sign up with an email. Um, and I just have it linked to my Facebook because I figured that'd be easier and I didn't want to get a bunch of emails from them. Um, once you have uh, an account set up with SoundCloud, because it's totally free, you can go pro if you want more upload time, but I have found that I really don't need it, because as soon as we do a concert, I can delete some of these tracks and it clears up some of the space that I had. Um, so once you have a, uh, an account, then all that you want to do is click upload, and it looks like, the, I tried to do this earlier and I just to make sure that my uh, screen capture was working. Um, so I'm going to find the file that I just did and we did Exultate Deo Alto Alternate. Choose that. And it's going to say we're processing your track for playback. And then usually it'll say something like ready to save. But all you got to do is click down here where it says save. And it looks like that didn't quite take. I don't know why. Ah, so it says we are experiencing degraded <laughs> services at the moment. You can see this here. That's no fun. So it looks like they're having some bugs. Usually this doesn't happen. But this, anyway, here's the one that I recorded earlier and was trying to record, but my computer didn't grab the audio off of that video. So once you've saved the track, it'll generate a link for you. And from that, you can share it if you guys have like a group Facebook page um, or you have a a class website or something like that or you can just give them the link in class um, so there's that now when I post it to our group Facebook page I could do every individual link but instead what I've done is make a playlist of all their tracks so here's the chamber singers practice tracks that's my top choir and here's all the ones that I've recorded that are still on there I've had to delete some because I had to clear up the space um, but once you've uploaded some new ones, I'll say, hey, I've uploaded Exultate Deo Alto. Now when you first put a track on here, it doesn't immediately put it in a playlist. So you want to go to Tracks. Let me show you that again. So up here, down to Tracks. And so here's the one I just put on here was the Exultate Deo Alto Extra. And when you want to put that one into a playlist, you can click on it and then click Add to Playlist. So if I want to put that in my Chamber Singers Practice Tracks, it'll pull up these and click Add to Playlist. Now at first you're going to need to create a playlist if you have just are just starting an account. See, there's, these are ones I've already made, but you can create a playlist and let's say I want to make a new one and call it, you know, whatever. Let's call it Chamber Singers 2. And you want to make sure that you make the playlist public so that the students can access it. I'm sure that there's random people who hop on SoundCloud and hear these tracks and they're like, who is this weird guy playing these choir pieces on the piano and talking over it? And then you just click Save. And now I have that. So now Exultate Deo Alto Extra was added to Chamber Singers 2. So now, if I want to go to that, well, it looks like they haven't put my playlist up there yet. Let's see. Maybe. Huh. Well, it looks like that, for some reason, didn't go into that playlist. But anyway, once you have the tracks uploaded, then you can do this. So what I usually do is I just put up the link to the playlist, and I just put on our Facebook page, like, hey, I've added tracks for Exultate Deo, so you guys can start practicing that one. And then all they have to do is go in here and find it, and then they can do it. So let's say that I wanted to practice, I'm an alto and I need to practice Tia de I just can find it on my phone, or I can find it on my laptop and just play it from there. And this then, is the alto practice track for Tia de We're going to start pickups to A. One, two. Three. 
So, you know, it's really nice because it's kind of like they can practice when I'm not there, they can practice at home if they are doing a sectional and they don't have anyone in their section who can really play piano. All they need is someone who's got a phone, and every single one of them has a phone these days, I'm sure you know. Um, so it's just really, really been useful for me, you know, because it really improves the accountability because I can say, we need to practice this, and I'd like you to have it ready for me by, you know, next week or set a deadline. And then they really have no excuse. They can't say, well, I don't have a piano or I don't know how to play piano. Or, you know, I was just getting a lot of that, and I understood, you know, it's really hard, you know, especially until I discovered this, it was like, man, how do I prepare a bunch of music without, um, you know, calling a bunch of extra rehearsals and pulling everyone together and getting them with the piano. So this just really kind of alleviates a lot of that pressure. And you'll notice yeah, I also put pronunciation tracks on there for them. Um, you can put accompaniments on there because you know what you're doing. I definitely don't. Um, this is why I just play their parts. Um, so it just makes it really nice. They can practice a bunch of things. And yeah, so I really love using my Audacity in my SoundCloud. Um, and if you have any questions or something doesn't make sense, just let me know. But um, really, just to recap, it's super easy. You go in your Audacity. Now let's say you were in Audacity and you made a mistake and you want to re-record it. You can just do, you can click on the track again. Uh, we can do undo normalize because I already did that. Undo delete. Undo record. And now I'm back to square one. And I can redo the thing. Or if I did that on accident, you can always hit redo. And there's everything pops back up for me. So you don't lose it all forever. <laughs> But let's say you made a mistake, you played, you know, you missed an accidental or something, which I do all the time, or you counted something wrong. Um, you know, I try as best as I can to play the practice tracks as well as I can, just so they don't learn it the wrong way. But you seriously, all you got to do is you hit record, say what you're doing, record it. Um, once you have the practice track recorded, you can normalize it, but usually you don't have to. The sound wave is big enough. And once you're ready, you click Export Audio, save the track to your computer, then you go over to SoundCloud, you hit Upload, um, and then you can put it in a playlist, uh, whatever you want to do, and then all the students need from there is just a link and they can find me. So I'm just going to show you kind of what they see on their end. Maybe I can log out here. I have this open all the time. so. Logging out is something I'm not used to doing. There we go. Sign out. So my kids, all they have to do is they can do the SoundCloud app. And even if they just look up my profile, it's going to pull up with everything that I have. Uh, oh, there's Chamber Singers too, so that's where it went earlier. So, um, so let's say if they were in concert choir and they want to do I Dream to Dream, they want to practice at home, they just click on it, and then it pulls up for them. This is a practice track for the Sopranos for I Dream to Dream. Um, we'll start you right where you come in and measure four. So there you go. And that's really all there is to it. So I hope this helps, and uh, yeah, hope you're doing well.